Hey, I'm Becca with the Happy Ever Crafter, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you step-by-step -step through how to create a calligraphy birthday card like this. All right, so first things first, obviously the tools you're gonna need. So get this, the first most important thing you're gonna need is a card. Shocker, I know. No, but seriously, you need a card. You can use a card of any color, any shape, any size. I'm using this pretty blue one just because I had it lying around, but you can literally use anything. You can even make your own out of cardstock, whatever you wanna do. I often get asked about the different types of cards and where to buy them so that they're good for your brush pens. I have a whole video about paper and I touch on that, but in this video, I'm actually not using brush pens. So I'm just using any card. If you're using brush pens, you just wanna look for a really smooth card, that's it. But again, for this video, we don't need a brush pen. Which brings me to my next point, you need a pen. Another shocker, I know. For this, I'm gonna be using a white gel pen. This is a Uniball Signo or Sino, however the heck you wanna say it. And I like this one because it's really nice and opaque on a colored background like this. But again, any pen, it can be a ballpoint pen, it can be whatever is lying around, as long as it's the right color that you wanna use on the color of card that you chose. Next up, you're probably gonna want a pencil just to do some outlines. Any pencil is totally fine. I know this one looks fancy. It's a black wing. It's like, you know, a really Instagrammable pencil that people love and it's a nice kind of lead, but it really doesn't matter in this video. A ruler. And then something round, you can use a compass or just something that has a round surface like this that you can trace. So this is just like a jar that I use to hold pens and it's about the right size. So that's it for tools. And now let's jump in. So I'm gonna actually open my card up. I find it easier to work on it flat like this. And the first step is actually just to take your pencil and draw a line essentially in the middle of the card really lightly you don't want this to be heavy because you're going to want to erase it later so just really really lightly so that you can see and if you uh, are a person who likes having a, a top guideline as well when you're doing calligraphy definitely go ahead and do that once you have your guidelines set up i know you can't really see mine on the video but that's okay just write your word so you're going to write the word birthday first and we're going to do this in calligraphy we're going to be doing faux calligraphy if you've never heard of faux calligraphy before watch this video and then come back um, it's a really important skill if you are in the calligraphy world and that's what we're doing with this card So I'm just gonna write the word birthday in faux calligraphy Okay, so you can move and adjust and erase and fix up this word as much as you need to but I'm just gonna try and gently erase the Original guideline that I drew it's easier to do this while it's still pencil than when you have ink on here And just generally try and make sure that your word is fairly centered on this um, card. It's actually also okay if it's a little bit closer to the bottom edge and you'll see why in a second. So the next thing I'm gonna do is write the word happy and the person's name. So you can do this with your ruler again if you like I'm, and I'm gonna do it in block letters. So you're gonna draw yourself a guideline that's fairly close to the top of your original birthday letters and centered above it. And then you can draw the top guideline too if it makes it easier for your block letters. And then you're gonna write the word happy. If you need help with block letters, I also have a video on that and I'll link to it. Okay, and then again, erase the guidelines as much as you can. As long as you can see your pencil guidelines here at the beginning when you start with your ink, like it just enough to give you a little guideline it doesn't have to be super perfect and then same thing you're gonna add the person's name here at the bottom my friend that I'm doing this for her name is Jen or Jenny I'm gonna write Jenny and you want to make this about the same size as your word happy and then again erase your guidelines and that's it for the pencil so now I'm gonna take my uniball signo I'm gonna go over this with my ink. Now you can do this with whatever pen, again, you want. Um, if you're doing it with a gel pen, just kind of have a piece of paper, a scrap piece of paper over here on the side that you can start getting it running because sometimes gel pens don't work super well. This is my favorite one for sure, but sometimes it's just annoying. And then essentially you're just gonna go over your original pencil lines here. Okay, so the writing is all in and now we're gonna add the floral bits. 
Now you can do this in pencil first. Take your pencil and your round surface. The one I've chosen is making it really easy actually because I can see exactly where I'm placing my circle. And you're gonna try and center it over your word and then add this pencil line really gently around the edge, just on the top and bottom. And then you're gonna add a really, really simple sort of wreath to finish this off. So you can do this in lots of different ways. You can add florals however you want, and you can do it in pencil first if you want to, but I like to just jump right in. So essentially, I'm just gonna start at this one corner here above my B, and I'm gonna start adding some flowers and stems. So you want them all to be coming off of that main pencil line that you drew. And you can add little buds that look like little flowers or you can just add leaves. You can do this however you want to. I'm gonna do a sort of a combination of all of those things. So I'll have some leaves and some buds. And you're basically just gonna keep building up around that original line that you drew. You can feel free to copy exactly the flowers that I'm drawing here, or you can Come up with your own and you can bring them as far into that circle or leave them as far away from the center of the circle as you like. I like to put a couple pieces in to kind of fill it up so here I might even add another little bud in here so that it goes more into the center of the circle and just keep filling it up. Now when you get down to the bottom edge, some people like to totally flip it over. What I will say is that I like to flip because a lot of people find it tempting to finish the top and then come down towards the bottom and switch the direction, but you want your whole wreath to be opening up in that same direction. So you want them all to be pointing down this way, and I find it easier to do that while it's upside down. So don't feel like you can't flip it as you're working. You just wanna make sure that if you're using a pen like this one, sometimes it's a little bit wet, so give it a little bit of time before you put your hand over top of it. And then just jump in and do the exact same thing on this side too. Alrighty, and that's it. So now my birthday card is complete. It looks really fancy, but it really wasn't actually all that hard. It's guaranteed to wow your friends. <laughs> that sounds like an infomercial. <laughs> Guaranteed to wow your friends. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and had fun with it. I hope your friends like their birthday cards. And if you create one, I'd love to see it. So share it on Instagram, tag me at the happy ever crafter. And uh, if you like videos like this, I also have one that will help you decorate the envelope that this would go in. So you can watch that one here and I'll see you over there.